a lesson for all daily at 6 a.m. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Alpha. I am Judea Marston Clark and the topic of today's lesson is David. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, one more time we open your words as we do so. We ask that you open our hearts to receive the messages we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. So the story of David is an object lesson in waiting. And our scripture passage of focus is 1 Samuel 16, reading from verse 1 through 13. Here we see David being anointed by Samuel as king. However, it was a very long journey from the field of his father, Jesse, to the throne in Jerusalem. No doubt at times, he felt he was in the middle of a crucible. First, the lad, as they call him, is called to play music to soothe Saul's troubled spirit, and we find that in 1 Samuel, verse 16. Later, he becomes Israel's hero as he kills Goliath. This is found in 1 Samuel 17. Then there are many years during which David is running for his life. Both Saul and his son Jonathan know that David is destined to be the next king. But David does nothing to advance his God-given destiny. In fact, he really appeared to have done the opposite. Even when Saul tries to kill him and David snips a piece of cloth off the king's robe, he wished he had never done such a thing. Again, when Saul is trying to kill David, David refuses to kill Saul when the opportunity arises. And you find that in 1 Samuel 26, from verse 7 to 11. So when we read these verses, we get a clear picture as to why David refused to kill Saul. And there are some principles that we can learn from that experience. Now, when you look at 1 Samuel 26, 12 to 15, we see where David's refusal to kill Saul affected Saul. So, again, what is this teaching us about the advantages of waiting for God? Let us take a look. So, looking at the whole of David's road to the throne, we could perhaps summarize it in a short sentence. Don't grab what God has not yet given. God's gifts, they are always best received from his hand and in his time. This may require a very long time of waiting because bean sprouts may literally grow within hours, while an oak tree will take many years. But when the strong winds come, the tree will not be uprooted. So my brothers and sisters, let us be reminded, based on what we learned from this story, that God's gift to us are best received directly from His hand. Let us not try to grab what the Lord has for us before it is given to us. And that, my friends, is a lesson for all. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that one more time your words have gone forth. We are happy that we have all these stories and examples in the Bible that we can learn from. Help us, Lord, to wait on you, wait on your timing, so that we can receive the gifts that you have for us. Continue to be with us and bless us as we study your words, we pray. In Jesus' loving name, amen. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Alpha. We look forward to sharing again with you tomorrow. Until then, God bless you. A lesson for all, daily at 6 a.m.